Hi, and thanks for watching another instructional video for CSEI 1300. In this video, we will be talking about array bounds and how segmentation faults can occur when trying to access boundary conditions. What is a seg fault? A seg fault or a segmentation fault is when you encounter some error in the program that completely crashes the entire piece of code. This can happen when we access array indexes that are out of the boundary range of our declared size. So for instance, if we try to access the indexe indexes above the size value, above our total capacity for our array, we can segfault our program. So it's really important to be very aware of how you're setting up terminating conditions when traversing over an array because this could lead to a segmentation fault, which would be pretty much an off by one error if you were going to the size. We, remember, the last position that we can store in, our, in an array is an index that is one less than the size because array indexing starts at zero. So if we actually go to the size of an array, we would be going one over the total number of indexes that are actually allowable with array indexing. And anything past that would still cause a segmentation fault as well, especially if we're using a loop. And to show that, to illustrate that, I've got an array here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare the array, which is size 10. I'm going to loop through it until I am one less than the size, which is the last allowable index of 9. I'm going to assign a value of i plus 1, so we should be just counting and assigning values of 1 through 10. And then I'm going to print that information. So just to show you what's in the loop, I'm going to go ahead and print what I have. And that's what it looks like, the numbers 1 through 10. Now notice what happens if I set this to be less than or equal to the size, meaning that we would go actually to an index position of 10 in a size 10 array, which would be one more than its last position, which is 9, or size minus 1. Our code compiles. However, when we get to the end of the program, notice that we are trying to store an additional value somewhere in the computer beyond our last container. And we then get a stack smashing error and the, the core dumped. Well, what this means is that this value here could not be assigned correctly to its location. So the moment that we actually reached this value, we tried to assign it, we printed it once, and then we terminated because we went over the size. However, if we were to do something along these lines where we use print statements to access elements outside of the boundary ranges, what you're going to notice is that not only is it allowable, but it's giving us weird junk values. The reason why is because we're actually accessing another portion of declared memory outside the scope of the array by just a little bit. So these could be junk values from some other process or some other stored portion of code in the computer. And if we were to overwrite those, we might actually be dealing with memory over, a memory overwrite. And this can be a serious problem with security features in programs. So just in general, to remind you of why we do not use segfaults to recap, or the reason why we want to avoid seg vaults is because they can crash the entire program. And it could also, if it doesn't actually segmentation fault, then we could be accessing values in some other portion of memory outside of the array if we accidentally go out of the range of our size. That's all for arrays for now. Thanks and happy coding.